started out talking about quests, I think what's important for people to know is that you don't have to be the big, you know, riding on an elephant in India quest. Right. You talk about miniature quests. Yeah, mini quests. Fun yes. size. Yes. <laughs> Fun size. <laughs> sometimes, Snackable quests. Sometimes quest. you have to shape the quest to the reality of your life. You know, and, and one of the things that I talk about is when I was going through my divorce and I was stuck in this legal proceeding and I had no money and I had no freedom, I made myself have these mini quests. I wanted the big one, you know, what ultimately became Eat, Pray, Love, but I didn't have the liberty to go do that. I didn't have the money to go do that. I was stuck in the situation that I had to see through. And so I would give myself challenges, you know, like your challenge today is to go out in this world when you're full of resentment and full of anger and full of like stuckness, you need to go out there and you need to find something beautiful. I need to experience it and feel it and wake yourself up and, and, and excite yourself. And you're not allowed to come home until you've done that. That's a quest. You know, as long as it takes, you go. Your quest today is to make a piece of art. You're not even, I'm not even an artist, but like go get some materials and make a piece of art that expresses your journey so far in life. So I, I remember going to the store and buying all these index cards and all this tissue paper of different colors and just making an index card series of what every year of my life has been about up until now so that I could lay it out on the floor and see it in like primitive drawings. Like, oh, that's the year this, that's the year I learned this. And now you're in this year. What's it going to be next year? That's a quest. You know, a quest for comprehension, a quest for perspective. You know, I love the day that you had said, that the voice had said to you to go out and find something beautiful and you come away with, you walk out and you see these, you know, elephants walking down oh the street God. in Manhattan. That was the best mini quest ever. Because yeah. I was at the post office coming home from divorce court, had to mail something, full of despair, full of resentment, full of frustration. All I wanted to do was go home and cry. And somehow this voice in the post office came to me and said, you need to aim a little higher than all I want to do is go home and cry. So I created this mini quest. I didn't let myself leave the post office till I had my mini quest. And the mini quest was that very thing. You must go out in this world today and you must find something beautiful in New York City, a city you don't even want to be in right now, that you feel stuck in and trapped. And I marched out of there like ready to, am I going to march up these streets all day if my feet bleed? I don't care if I have to walk. There's something beautiful in this stupid city, you know? And I threw open the doors of the post office and there walking right in front of me down 7th Avenue were five elephants. Five elephants right there with showgirls with spangled costumes on top, <laughs> waving at me. It took me two steps out of the post office before I realized that quest. And there was a reason the elephants were there. The circus was in town across the street. But, but on that was, particular day, they were your elephants. They were my elephants yeah. because I made the challenge to myself to go find something magnificent. <laughs> 